Bethany Hollingsworth. This is Rye Hollingsworth. Um, we're my, I'm doing. I'm gonna be interviewing him for his channel, Rye Hollingsworth. So Rye, you're 19 years old. You go to Oilson High School. You go to Central Tech. You take construction. How was it? What What is it like doing construction work? Well, we get to build a house, a two story house. Oh wow! From scratch. That's a lot of work. Are you guys selling it for money for the school, or are you building it for someone? Building it for somebody. That's super nice, you guys. So, you're looking for a nice girl. I know that. You're single. And... What video is this? You harmony? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> this is not uh, harmony. This is... Your favorite color is... It's dark blue. Okay. You... What's your hobbies? My hobby is... Well... I collect sports cogs. Oh, cool. And that's about it. Who do you live with? Or do you live by yourself? I live with my grandparents. You like them? Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes you don't get along? Well, that... Yeah, I'm not... I'm you like me? I'm your sister. Do sometimes. Like... Cause I'm, not, I'm your little sister, and I do things you all... You tell you me not to. You do something crazy. You tell me, Bethany, you don't get it... You don't get yours, Pierce. And then I go get two ear piercings. And then I told her don't get her belly pills, and she freaking went to do and that. Don't get a tattoo, and then you know what happened and after that. And she went to do that, man. Don't, you know, d don't wear bl ma dark makeup and black clothes. Well, that's don't, too late now. Don't shave your head. That's too late now, too. Don't go get marry a nice guy who loves me and takes care of me. That's too late now. <laughs> what? You don't, you don't want a guy that likes me and takes care of me? I said that's too late because you already found one. Yep, he didn't even have to, he didn't, yep. So, Rye, how long did you, how long have you known that you wanted to be a YouTuber? Since this year, I guess. New, th oh, that's a new thing. How long have you been interested in YouTube? Oh, there's me. Well, I didn't realize uh, that. I have no clue. Okay, so, do, what do you, what was your childhood like? Well, let me see. It was happy days, it was bad days, like a normal childhood should be. Yeah. Except this one's not a normal childhood. Yeah, we had a rocky ride, but you know what? We're happy now, so it's okay. I'm still talking here. I'm <laughs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> I love you, Ryan. Yeah. You're just so funny. Oh, and also... I'm, on my channel, I'm still Bethany, Ho <laughs> Bethany Hollingsworth, I have videos, there's a lot... There's a lot of controversy of me and some other YouTubers, but other than that, we're doing chill. What kind of interview is this? I don't get to talk, man. We'll talk. Well, I did, and you ruined it. We'll talk more, then. I don't want to talk more. Well, then why are you complaining you didn't get to talk? We're at my house. This is my house. I pay for this every month. I pay the bills. And then bills wasn't worth it, either. What are you talking about? This is a good house. It has some problems. I need a new floor in the living room. It has fillings, too. Yeah, there's some places that need to be filled in. Some electric need to be fixed, but it's still a decent house. It keeps warm in the winter. keeps cool in the summer. Roof over our heads. It's all I ask for. And you got your own fireplace over there. Yeah, we got a little fireplace. And then we'll squat. Yeah, it does. This whole room. This whole room? Yeah. And, and there are two extra bedrooms and the kitchen. I have your room. I have another one in there. Well, now it heats up there, and then we have one in the, in the bathroom. Whoops, he do. He did up some rooms there. Well, I better. It costs 60 bucks. That's how much I would want to pay, man. 60 bucks. What other question you got? Um, how long have you known you were straight? Well, uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a forever. Forever? How long have you known... How long have you known you, you were straight? I'm not straight. Oh, crap. I've told you this. She's a lesbian. Great. Yeah, it's because I have a husband. I'm a lesbian. Great. She's a Norman, too. A Norman? Yeah. What's a Norman? I don't know. You don't know? If you Here's the thing I get told from teachers. If you don't know the word, don't use it. Well, them teachers are crazy, too. So you're calling Miss Travis, Miss Cerner, or Miss Roberts all crazy? No, just Mr. Roundtree. I didn't mention him. Ah, oh, crap! 
I just said it out loud. <laughs> he is kind of crazy. No, but I am bisexual. Are you just like Katie? Yes, I'm not going to go sleep with every other girl I see. I fell in love with a guy, so I'm going to be with a guy. If I break up with Jared, that's And you're going straight back to Justin Ford. That's the most insulting thing you've ever said to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, let's skip that question. That was a... I'm sorry about that. It's okay, Ray. I was getting caught up in the interview here. uh, It's okay. What other questions you got? Um, Let's not do racist either, man. (laughs) Why, are you racist? (laughs) Some people get offensive. So, where were you on 9-11? Well, I was at uh, home. It was, I was a school probably, day. I was a... Uh, it was a school day. What year was it? We were, you were in kindergarten. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot where I was, man. You don't remember, It's been so long. Okay. Who'd you vote for in the Obama versus McCain election? Well, no one. I wasn't old enough. Well, our school held an ele- a fake election to teach us about voting. Who did you vote for then? None. You didn't vote? No. I actually voted for Obama during the school election because I felt bad because I didn't know who either were, so I just picked which one ever. I was like eight years old. Oh, yeah. How was your ass bad, too? I passed it. I failed it. I didn't even... It was a 14. I think I got like a... No, two- no. Actually, I got a zero, zero. I got like a 20-something. I got a zero zero. Jared got a high score. He got in the forties. Wow. And Did you know the highest. John, his you know Jonathan Grissom, yeah. his best friend. He almost got a perfect score, wow. and they were they're trying to recruit him. He's like, no, I want to go to college. You know how how um you know the ASVAB test. You know how how many uh, you can score? It's a ninety five. Yep, I think Jonathan Grissom got in the eighties. Wow. Yep. What else a question you got? Um, why don't you shave your legs? Why don't I shave your que- legs? That's a good question for you, Bethany. Yep, because I don't at all. I haven't shaved my legs in months. I don't. It's because I am a guy. That doesn't matter. There's a lot of guys who shave their legs. Well, they like sports, and they like to shave their legs. Olympians shave their legs in our pits. That's why I said sports. And just regular guys. It actually, it, in in Germany, 46% of the young men between the ages of 14 to 25 shave their armpits and sometimes legs. It's becoming more and more popular around the world for guys to shave their underarms and legs. It's actually becoming a thing that is expected of them. Is it? It's mostly expected of girls over here in America, but it's expected over, of young guys in Germany now. What's the other question you want to ask? Um, is the interview... Closes. Yeah, we got like a minute before I would like to close this. Uh, say your, uh, say goodbye. Well, thank you for staying tuned with us till the very end. And please subscribe to my channel for, for, for videos. And then give me a thumbs up at my channel, at uh, this video. And, and comment I'll take any comment you have and see you next time. Bye. Bye. That's my hand.